two completely identical parts. One can withstand boiling water, the other will melt from warm tea. One will break from impact, the other will bend like rubber. The difference is in the plastic. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Today we will examine six plastics for 3D printing that we work with most often in our office and find out which one is right for your task. Choosing the right material is 50% of your project success. Each plastic has unique properties that determine its suitability for specific tasks. Understanding the characteristics of materials allows you to create truly functional prototypes that will perform the tasks at hand. From table decorations to aerospace components, choosing the right plastic determines the reliability of the final product. Let's start with PLA. Biodegradable, made from corn. Easy to print, looks great, smells, well, not bad. Not at all, boy! <laughs> but it doesn't hold heat very well, like chocolate in a car. Let's take a closer look at the characteristics of PLA. PLA in our projects, especially when we need to quickly print and check the shape and dimensions of a future part. PLA is an ideal choice for cases where the part will not be exposed to high temperatures or serious mechanical stress. ABS is the same plastic that Liga is made of, but it is capricious. Without a closed case and ventilation, don't even try to print anything. Seriously. Hi. Okay. We also have improved versions in our office, ABS Plus and ABS Pro. Let's now take a look at the features of this plastic. We use ABS for more serious tasks. It is our material of choice. For electronics enclosures, especially where they may be heat, for industrial prototypes that need to be tested in conditions close to real-world operation. Despite the complexity of printing, the result always justifies the effort. It combines the simplicity of PLA with the strength of ABS, but it is much easier to print. Nice. Optimal for functional parts such as housings and parts that are subject to moderate stress. And by the way, PETG is UV resistant, so parts that will be installed outdoors are an ideal choice in this case. We choose PETG when PLA and ABS 
no longer satisfies the task at hand. We use it for electronic device housings, various protective elements, functional fasteners and holders. It is our choice for functional prototypes that have to work in real-world conditions. Nylon is a highly durable engineering plastic, or in short, Terminator. So, if you need a part that will work when others cannot withstand the load, temperature, or <laughs> something else, nylon is your choice. But be aware that it is very difficult to print. In simple terms, it is as complex as ABS, only 10 times more so. <laughs> of nylon for the most complex and critical tasks. We use it for parts that have to work under constant load, wear resistant elements and components that are operated at high temperatures. TPU is flexibility in its purest form. It looks like rubber, behaves like rubber, it can print anything that needs to bend. We use TPU for specialized tasks that require flexibility and elasticity. TPU is indispensable for creating shock-absorbing elements, parts that need to bend without breaking, and soft protective coatings. It is the material of choice for situations where rigid plastic is simply not suitable for the task at hand. HIPS is a secret weapon for complex models. It is printed as support and then simply dissolves its features. HIPS is primarily an aid in creating complex geometries. We use it as a soluble material for supports when conventional supports cannot be removed without damaging the model. HIPS is especially useful when printing hollow parts with internal channels, complex mechanisms with moving parts, and multicolor models. It is our secret weapon for realizing projects that seem impossible for 3D printing. What conclusions can we draw? Simple designs and prototyping PLA, functional household items PETG, industrial applications ABS, high load components nylon, elastic elements TPU, complex supports Keeps. If this video helped you, join us, subscribe and hit the bell, and write in the comments what kind of plastic has let you down. And remember, plastic doesn't choose you, you have to choose it correctly.